Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president of ConsumerLab.com, which has been testing vitamins and supplements and all kinds of healthy foods um, since 1999 and reporting that online. And we are the leading group independently evaluating these products. And today, I'll be talking to you about our latest findings regarding canned tunas and canned salmon products. Um, now, it's very important uh, from a cardiovascular perspective that you eat fish or other seafoods um, that are high in omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA and DHA, and low in contaminants, which can occur in, in fish and seafoods, particularly mercury, arsenic, uh, and some of the other heavy metals. Um, and so what Consumer Lab has done is gone out and tested these products to really see which ones are highest in the omega-3 fatty acids and lowest in contaminants. And our findings are really very significant and can affect your health um, in a significant way in that we found some of these products, particularly some of the tunas, to contain very low levels of omega-3 fatty acids while actually having some of the highest levels of mercury and or arsenic. Now, um, you need to get about 250 milligrams on average per day of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, uh, from fish to really get a cardiovascular benefit. Again, you don't need to take this every day, but that's an average per day. Over a period of a week, you need about 1,750, uh, so a little bit lower than 2,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. Uh, what we found in some of these products is that they actually contained less than 100 milligrams uh, per serving of EPA and DHA. Um, in fact, one of them had under 50 milligrams of EPA and DHA. And it's a shame because many people eat fish, eat tuna, hoping that they're going to get a cardiovascular benefit, uh, when in fact, there's not much uh, in terms of the polyunsaturated fats, these omega-3 fatty acids in them. On the other hand, uh, there are some tunas, um, typically not the albacore tunas, but the sockeye tuna um, or the yellowtail, and most definitely some of the uh, salmon, canned salmon products that have hundreds and hundreds uh, of milligrams of uh, EPA and DHA per serving. One of these products actually had over a thousand uh, milligrams most of the salmons had uh, over 500 milligrams or so um, uh, per serving. So I highly encourage you that if you're going to be um, eating uh, salmon or tuna, um, that you, you look at our report and really get the details on what we found in each of these specific products. I can also tell you that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a good product. Uh, we found that some of the best products, and we identified actually several of our kind of top picks uh, among these, we found that you could get them for as little as 60 to 80 cents uh, per serving, which is a very uh, inexpensive amount of money to spend, you know, to get a good amount of protein, you know, as well as omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the, just to kind of take you through the types of products that are here, um, you have the sockeye salmons like this one, Sockeye salmon is interesting if you haven't had it before, maybe a little bit of a shock when you first see it. It's kind of a reddish orange color, it's a little oily. Um, it has edible bones in it, um, which actually can provide you 10% or more of your daily value of, of calcium per serving, which is a great thing. Um, but it's an acquired taste. Uh, there's also a pink salmon, um, uh, which is actually somewhat similar to the white you know, albacore tuna kind of a very light pink, very mild, a little more salmony tasting. Um, uh, tends to have a bit more omega-3 fatty acids than the albacore tunas. Um, and then the uh, um, skipjack tuna um, is a slightly darker, kind of slightly redder uh, tuna, a little more flavorful tuna. Um, again, tends to have lower amounts of uh, mercury and arsenic in it. Um, and then there's yellowtail. Um, which tend to be sold uh, in olive oil. Um, and that's also a, slight, a slightly darker tuna, um, but fairly mild. Um, so there are many good options here. Uh, in general though, the, the albacore, the, the solid white tuna, um, is the type that tends to have the lower amounts of uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, and unfortunately, some of the higher amounts of contaminants like 
mercury and arsenic. And, and the reason for that is that the albacore tunas are larger, uh, longer lived tuna that, that are basically higher up in the predatory chain so that uh, contaminants that are consumed by the uh, smaller fish kind of work their way up and get concentrated into the larger, older um, predatory fish like albacore tuna. Um, so uh, keep all of that in mind. Again, I encourage you to, uh, to join Consumer Lab, get our uh, access to not only our tests of uh, these salmon and tuna products, but of uh, thousands of different uh, supplements that we, that we test and continue to publish on. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let us know and we'll try to address them. So again, this is Dr. Todd Cooperman of ConsumerLab.com. Thanks for your time.